Sorry for the delay, Nora. It's been a hell of a night. I don't think I'm too banged up. Yeah, well, um, your blood pressure and pulse are normal, but the X-ray did show that you've got a fracture in your ankle. Okay. And you're wearing a seatbelt, which is great. Means it kept you safe. But you might experience a bit of pain and bruising. Do you mind if I just have a look? All right. Can you remember anything about the crash? No. No? Nothing happened to make you lose control and cross the centre line? Sorry? Well, I mean, uh, were you dizzy or anything? Can you recall? Sleepy, maybe. I don't know what happened. Okay, so you're just driving normally and... Then I woke up in the ambulance. That's all I know. Okay, well, you sit tight. And, um, Nora, we do have counsellors I can refer you to if you, if you would like. Why would I? Really bad car crashes can be traumatic, even if you don't remember some of it. And sometimes it can be hard to admit that you need help, but it can be really helpful to talk it through. I'm good. What about the mother? In shock. Victim support's on the way. That poor mother. So, what's her excuse? Well, she can't remember anything about the crash. Of course she can't. She might have brain damage. Or it's a convenient excuse for the cops. What is your problem? Oh, I don't have a problem. Rahu's dealing with a ruptured brachial artery and Marty's blood force trauma will take hours and hours of surgery. They've got problems. Yeah, well, she could have fainted behind the wheel. See how she's glued to that phone? She was probably texting. Either that or she was trying to hurt herself, which makes her even more selfish. Right, I've got to get back to work. Hey, that could have been our kid sleep without a dad last night. Think about that when you're defending her. Please don't make this about you, and I'm not defending her. Did she even ask about the other crash victims? She's lost all faith in surgeons. We doctors, not God. I tried my best to help her. I damn near succeeded. Not for who's striking a blow for honesty, which can be overrated. Marty. Yeah. Lydia Jacobs, you're running more tests? I am. And she still has abdo pain. That is what she's presenting with, yeah. She told me about the placebo surgery. That's correct. You really think it's psychological? I do. I think her pain is a manifestation of her stress and anxiety. She needs psych support, not endless tests that won't prove anything. No one loves a difficult diagnosis more than I do, but sometimes there are just no definitive answers. You just need to do your best with what you've got. Marty, keep me in the loop. That is not what the patient wants. We'll call it research then. Professional development. Rahu. If I learn anything new, I will let you know. It's coming down well. And then you'll operate? You're not our highest priority. Sorry, was that rude? I'm a bit tired. I've just been all morning operating on Ricky. Sorry, who? Ricky Nolan. He's a passenger in one of the cars you had. You know, with a little bit of luck and a lot of rehab, he might just learn to walk again. Unlike Matthew Jenkins, who's dead. True. If you'd like to visit Ricky, he's an HDU. He's a real mess. Okay, that is enough. Will you excuse us, please? was that? Just a dose of truth? Uh, you were abusing and intimidating a patient who was quite possibly unstable. Oh, right. The get-out-of-jail-free card. Excuse my appalling behaviour. I'm not well. You're never going to let me forget it, are you? Nick and Billy have whiskey. I don't feel like going back there right now. I got your request for a meeting. Not a request. It's about Nora, isn't it? How did her consult with Psych go? It's none of your business. Well, I just want to know if I should let her off the hook, you know, for her mental problems. God forbid you should do that. She's fine, isn't she? No depression. Shut up, Drew. Prosecution rests. Nora's not a pawn to be used against me. She's a person, she's a patient. You treat her with respect. Hey, it feels like we're having this meeting now. Let's just get it over with. I'm off the clock, okay? And that is a conversation to be had between a CEO and a surgeon, not a husband and wife. Unlike you, I know the difference. Oh. Catch you berating a patient again like you did with Nora yesterday. You know that I'm going to have to suspend you, right? One way to keep me home with kids. Drew, do you really want to push me? Consider it a warning, okay? 
Now, I went and checked in with Nora, and at this stage, it doesn't look like she's going to lay a formal complaint. Although she has every right to. And I'm sure you'd be cheering her on if she did. She was actually rather odd. No kidding. She, would, she wouldn't stop talking, which was a complete switch from yesterday. Right. She had any light on the cause of the accident while she was babbling on? Not directly, but I would like to order a head CT. Because a switch in personality no, 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 like no, no, that... No, 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 Harper, listen. You've told me off, I've sat here and taken it, but she's my bloody patient. She's got a broken ankle and a black heart, and I know which one of those I can fix. Good day. You two are doing well to avoid each other. What do you mean? This ED is like an icebox. Hey, don't put that on me. I'm the one sitting there while she balls me out from behind her CEO desk, fighting the good fight for dangerous, depressed women. Oh. I'm doing everything she wants, OK? Ticking all the therapy boxes. Great approach to self-improvement. Hey, I don't see why I'm the bad guy. She's the one using Nora to make her point. Her concerns seem legitimate to me. Right, forgot you're on her side. I'm not on anyone's side. And ain't you sick of this? Wasting my time? Yeah, I am. No, this petty arguing with Harper. She doesn't think she did anything wrong. Who? Nora? You hurt people? You should take responsibility for your actions. 